Roblox Rivals is blowing up recently, so I decided to bust 10 of the craziest myths inside of the game. Some of these myths are game breaking, so watch till the end to find out. This first myth literally lets you fly into the sky, as far as you can see. So simply all you need is a trowel and a subspace trip mine. So if you place this on the floor and walk into it and activate your trowel ability, you should be able to get flung right up into the sky. So let's try it right now. There we go, as you can see, we're literally as far as you can get into the sky. So that is myth busted, you can definitely do this glitch. As you can see by my avatar, I'm completely invisible on arena. So the walls in arena are this coloured with this pattern. Now this only cost me 85 Robux. So if you would like to buy these items, they will be in the description. But yeah, this makes it super hard for people to see you on arena, so we're going to put it to the test right now. Okay, I'm currently invisible against a wall sitting in the corner. Now let's see if this actually works. Okay, I can hear him behind me. Okay, he is still right here. I can hear him sliding. He's right there. Come oh, here! <laughs> that is myth busted. You can definitely hide with this outfit. But you might want to pair it with a better weapon skin than this. Now this next myth is kind of crazy. So if you watched my previous video, as you know, you could get inside of these carts right here. But uh, the devs actually patched this, so I'm going to be testing it out to see if I can kind of find a way inside of these crates. Okay, so these crates are impossible to get through. But we're going to try these crates right here as they do have thinner walls. So you can still get inside of these crates which have the hollow inside if you just run into it and slide and jump You can just glitch straight through it. So as you know if someone's chasing you around here, you can shoot them And then you can just glitch out straight into the middle of these and yeah, it's like the least expected thing to do in a fight Let's see if it works on the cool crate right here Okay, it does not work on the cool crate well, if you want to get through here without breaking any of the glass, you can just glitch straight through this. Just like that, you can get straight through the glass without actually breaking it. Okay, so the next myth is, does leaving the game actually quit matchmaking? I'm going to test this one on an autocon because I really don't want to lose my streak. Does it work? So if we leave, just like that, we join back. And we still have our streak, so that still works to this day. Now that is kind of an old uh, easter egg right there, but if you think the guy's gonna be an absolute sweat bag, then you can just leave the game before you even play it. Also, at 20,000 subscribers, I'll give away 10 skin crates, so consider subscribing. It's free, and it helps a ton. Does the chainsaw actually fling you up into the sky if you use it on a ramp? Let's find out. Yes, it does, and you go miles with it as well. Get into their spawn, super easy. That is myth busted, you can fly with the chainsaw. Okay, this myth is the momentum from the chainsaw can actually carry over into your slide. So what I mean by this is when I slide and use the chainsaw, it makes me go so much faster. So I'm going to try this by going down this ramp right here and seeing if we get flung over the other side of the map. So let's go. So we slide. Okay, that kind of works, but the bouncy castle does get in the way, unfortunately. But I mean, is it worth it? Probably not. Unless you do that, now that is pretty insane. You can get some mad movement on this map with the chainsaw and with sliding onto the trampoline in the middle. Yo! Okay, so the trick here is to just go up here, slide, and go back. And look at that. Alright, let's try that again. So we slide up. Slide and use the chainsaw on the middle bit on the bouncy castle. So we'll go like that just to get in the middle. And slide. Yeah, man, that is pretty broken. I would definitely use that in your next match if you haven't already used this. Next time you get splash, you're going to be a pro. Now, this myth is pretty interesting. Now, can you actually run faster with melees inside of rivals? So I'm going to time myself from this point to all the way to that point with the knife and then with the assault rifle. So let's go. Three, two, one, go. That is so much faster with the melee. Okay, let's try it with the siphon instead.
Okay, so the primary weapon is the slowest, the secondary is the second slowest, and the melee is the fastest. So if you want to get places faster, then I would definitely use the melee weapons. Especially how some have special abilities. This myth is do some weapons have some secret inspect animations? So if we get the RPG and we press inspect a bunch of times until we finally get it. There we go. And it juggles the RPG bullets. I'm pretty sure the knife has one too. There we go, we just got it. The knife disappears. And then it flicks back out. Now please do comment down below what other ones do have special animations as I would like to know. Now have the hitboxes for the sniper been buffed? Now it did say in the patch files that it did get buffed. So let's see. So we shoot around his head right here. Right, that should not hit. Okay. That was nowhere near his head and it killed him straight away. The sniper might be broken. Yeah, let's try this size. Yeah, that didn't hit. That didn't hurt. What about his hair? Even if you shoot his head, still headshots him. That is myth busters. The sniper hitbox has definitely been buffed. This next myth is, can you get across the entire crossroads map without actually touching the floor? So let's try it out. We're gonna head from this trampoline all the way over to the end over there. So let's go. And as you can see, we got right to the end of the map without even touching the floor. So that is myth busted. You can definitely get the other side of the map without touching the floor. Now this myth lets you get up ladders twice as far. So I equip the chainsaw and we go up the ladders just like this. It is nearly twice as fast as climbing the ladder just by itself, as you can see right here. That is myth busted. You can definitely get up the ladder twice as fast. As you might know, Backrooms has just got a revamp. So we're going to be testing to see if the Super Golf Golf Ball is actually still in the game. If you don't know what that is, it is a golf ball in the side of the Backrooms map, right in one of these corners. But let's see if that has been removed. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I can't say this easter egg anymore, which is quite unfortunate. This myth is busted, there is no longer a Super Bowl easter egg inside of Backrooms, which is pretty sad. 